welcome friends so uh, we have been doing lots of triangles in these sessions but never mind you know you know that this is very important uh, part of your syllabus but right so hence uh, let's understand another theorem and uh, this theorem is nothing but converse of basic proportionality theorem now basic proportionality theorem says that if there is a line which is parallel to the third side of uh, a triangle then uh, it divides the other two sides in uh, you know in uh, proportionately right so that's what uh, the theorem says so let us say this is a b and uh, i have d and e these are the two points where this line is cutting bc so by basic proportionality theorem if if de is parallel to bc then then ad upon db is equal to a e upon ec that's what we learned right this is bpt now converse says that so now i'm going to give you the statement of converse of the theorem of uh, bpt and it says if in a triangle in a triangle a line or a line segment whichever way you want to write it a line divides divides two sides in the same proportion in the same proportion then the line is parallel to the third side to the third side okay so in this case in this case what is it it is so let me now write it here so it's given so given ad by db is equal to ae by ec and you have to prove to prove what do you need to do you need to prove to prove what de is parallel to bc so now you understand why is this converse because in the basic proportionality theorem this was given and you had to arrive at this but now in converse of basic proportionality theorem this is given and now you have to arrive at this that's why it is called converse isn't it so now let me start with the proof so how to prove so in this case we will use something called method of contradiction method of contradiction one of the very popular and very effective method of proving results right method of contradiction what does method of contradiction mean it means that you assume that whatever is to be uh, proven is not correct that is it is wrong and then with logic you prove that your initial assumption itself was wrong and hence the result so what does it mean so in this question it is being asked to prove that de is parallel to bc given ad by db is equal to ae by ec so what I, where will i start from i will say let let de not be parallel b not be parallel to bc this is what we have to prove so hence i am starting with this assumption only that this is not true let it be not true then somehow by logic if i prove that this assumption of mine was incorrect then automatically de becomes parallel to bc isn't it isn't it so hence we will say that okay you are saying that de is parallel to bc you want to prove that i am saying it's not possible right so if it is not possible that means there exists a line let us say de dash there exists a line de dash therefore i can write there exists there exists a line de dash 
such that such that e dash is on ac and d e dash is parallel to bc right so when you're saying that okay uh, you know de is not parallel then there must exist one line uh, de dash let us say let us i'm assuming that that line is de dash such that e dash is on ac and such that de dash is parallel to bc right now because if you're saying that d is not a parallel line to bc then there must be one line which is passing through d and which must be parallel to bc there exists if line there is a line bc it must have another line parallel to it which passes through d and let that be de dash now if de dash is parallel to bc then what is the logic by our bpt now bpt we have already proven then i can use this theorem and say if de dash is parallel to bc in the triangle abc then ad by db is equal to a e dash by e dash c isn't it this is what uh, we will get by vpt and now let us say this this relation was one and this relation by was two so if you see the left hand side of one and two are same so very comfortably i can equate the right hand sides so i can say a e by e c is equal to a e dash by e dash c right by equating the right hand side of one and two adding one to both sides you will get a e by e c plus one is equal to a e dash plus e dash c or other i'm sorry this has to be step by step so let me write a e by e a e dash by e dash c plus one so i have added plus one to both sides now this will give you a e plus e c if you take lcm and this is e c this is equal to this is equal to a e dash plus e dash c divided by e dash c isn't it now look carefully a e plus e c in the figure here is the figure where is the figure yeah a e yeah so a e plus e c will give you a c isn't it and a e dash and e dash c will also give you a c so since if you see a e plus e c is a c now this was divided by e c is equal to a c again because both summed will give you a c you can check once again if you're not convinced a e dash by a e dash plus e dash c is a c and a e plus e c is again a c right so hence if you see i can strike off a c from both sides this will mean e c is equal to e dash c isn't it now how is that possible that there are two line there are two points e and e dash which are distinct points as well and are lying on the same line and are collinear so e e dash c are collinear and right this relationship is also holding this will happen only when only pos only when only when e and e dash coincide coincide e and e dash e and e dash coincide isn't it that means if e and e side coincide e and e dash coincide that means d e dash so d e dash and d e are same lines that means now we know that d e dash was parallel to b c so hence and since since d e dash was parallel to b c therefore d e is parallel to b c so hence proved hence proved that's what we wanted to prove that de is parallel to the third side if ad by db is equal to ae by ec this is converse of basic proportionality theorem 
Now we learned lots of corollaries to BPT in the last session. So if any of these corollaries are also true, then DE would be parallel to BC. What do I mean? I mean that if you have AD upon AB is equal to AE upon AC, then also, if this is given, let us say, then also DE, then also, then also DE will be parallel to BC. Understood? This is called converse of basic proportionality theorem.